Hello guys, this is Donuts Movies and welcome to the 44th episode of the World of Warcraft Lore Q&As. Now today I'll be answering some of the questions you guys left in the previous Q&A video and if you'd like to get your questions answered, make sure to either put them on the newest Q&A video or send them over Facebook and Twitter as you have links for that in the description below. Now also don't send me questions over YouTube personal messages as I kinda said that in the previous videos but the current system is just awful and I barely see any of them and I missed a dozen of messages and it's pretty bad, it's like not that organized and all of that so it's best to just put them in the comment section and also send me over Facebook and Twitter. Now before I start I just wanted to address one thing, I've been getting a lot of feedback about the uh, lore lessons so I thought I'd kinda explain what's going on. Now I know a lot of people subscribed for the lore lessons and that's the initial content, the only problem is I haven't really been doing them recently. And that's mostly because they aren't doing that great on the channel. I mean, I kinda, I'm kind of doing some other stuff right now with the top 5s. Now, don't worry, it's not like I'm gonna flood the entire channel with just top 5s and sort of like clickbait stuff, as a lot of people would say that. It's just the fact that they're really fun to make and also they get the best views and all that. I mean, the analytics are showing that they're doing the best on the channel, so I don't really see why I should push something that's not working that great. On the channel as a lot of people are saying they like the top fives now i am planning on doing lore although i'm thinking of doing some sort of different formats for it not the typical lore lesson thing as that wasn't doing that great and a lot of the first videos were kind of low quality now what i was thinking about either doing some sort of a out of this series but uh, like repeating the characters i did in the lore lessons in the first ones like artists grom hell scream and all that that i covered them i honestly covered them really badly before and I kind of wanted to make them again, this time like pretty decent with all the high quality stuff so it can actually be watchable and enjoyable I guess. So I'm thinking about doing that and maybe like, for example do the lore of artists or something like that instead of like World of Warcraft lore, le lore lesson number 95 or something like that. So do give me some feedback on that because I've been getting a lot of feedback that people want to see lore lessons. Also on the straw poll I did, a lot of people wanted to see lore lessons but it's the fact that I uploaded the Zilla one I did. But it just wasn't doing that great as I expected since the feedback I've been getting. So do give me some feedback on what you would like to see on the channel as I really do read everything and I take everything into consideration. So it would all be appreciated. Now let's not waste any more time and let's just get into the actual question. The first question is by Anthony and he asks, What's gonna happen for the future of the Zandalari trolls? Now when their island is flooded, will they ask Vol'jin for help or what might happen? You can't have an expansion without a troll patch. Now it is actually true when I think about it, I mean every expansion so far since the Burning Crusade had a troll patch, but I don't think we'll have one this time or at least I haven't read anything officially or confirmed about it. I mean something might happen as in a few trolls might have escaped from the last time and went through the portal and are now assisting the orcs as they see them kinda as conquerors, but I mean last time they were completely torn apart and in every expansion their numbers are decreasing significantly so I don't really know how much manpower or troll power they have right now to actually do something and provide some sort of actual resistance. I mean I honestly think it's best for them to do right now is to join Vol'jin and the Horde as I'm pretty sure I mean he would accept some tribes as he does like the trolls but I mean he obviously likes the Horde more because a lot of trolls are evil and savages and all of that but I mean I mean if they <laughs> asked him nicely or something like that I mean they're savage and asked him nicely but if they actually wanted to join and be part of the society, I'm pretty certain Vol'jin would accept him. So I honestly don't know right now, but I, I don't think there will be like a patch, there will be like another giant troll attack or something like that, or like a giant defense, or whatever it is. Alright, next question is by Rokar, and he asks, What is Sergeras waiting for? He must have a plan like what he has done to Medivh. Maybe he's already doing something. Now, honestly, right now everything is speculation when it comes to Sergeras and the Burning Legion, but I do think he's planning something and at this point I'm almost 100% sure that there will be a Burning Legion invasion soon with Sargeras included and I also think it will be the last Burning Legion invasion on Azeroth and that we might get rid of the Burning Legion for good or at least almost completely destroy it so they won't be a giant threat anymore. But so far I mean no plan has been suggested, only certain tiny clues and hints here and there, for example by Vratian that the Burning Legion is cooking something, also the Army of the Light with Anduin and Velen and all of that. So I honestly feel that Forlots of Draenor and a few next expansions after that are just going to be setting the stage for that final Burning Legion invasion. Now I don't think that will be like the last expansion 
And I mean, since the Burning Legion lost on Ezra like two times by now, I'm thinking this time they will come more prepared than ever. And even when you think about it, I mean, the last time they were prepared a lot, like with the Scourge. They planned on weakening the world with the Scourge so they can actually attack and destroy everything, but it didn't work. So I can't even imagine how big the next invasion will be. Alright, next question is by Nerdly Squared, and he asks. Do the blue-eyed high elves have a home or a central location like the blood elves do in the lore? I know they are the same race, but is there a place where they can actually live now in decent numbers aside from the Dalaran mages? Alright, so the blue-eyed high elves are pretty much the original high elves and are in that 20% that survived the extermination of the blood elves or the high elves and are the small percentage that didn't join the blood elves and renamed themselves in the honor to their fallen brethren. Now, so far, they don't really have a home like their own city or something like that, but they live in a lot of alliance cities, as most of the current High Elves are pretty much the Elves that weren't present in Quotalas at the time it was attacked, and they just stayed there afterwards, so not much really changed for them, except their home, I mean, being destroyed and all of that. But that's the case only if they were visiting, as there are some High Elves that actually live in alliance cities and were living there before, although not that great in numbers, as the Elves and the Alliance, like the Human Alliance, hasn't always been in great relations. So, as I said, they're pretty much all over, although I think the biggest percentage of uh, high elves, like the blue-eyed high elves, are in Dalaran. Alright, and the last question is by Ethan, and he asks, is there or will there be any videos of you roleplaying? Now, I've been getting this question a lot, I mean, on the channel and the stream, and ever since I started the RP guide, so I thought I would finally answer it. Now, for a few months, I've been thinking of doing something, as in, like, sort of a serious something between a, like a let's play and a machinima that can be like episodic and well edited but i just can't come up with a good format or a design to make everything work i mean my plan by now was to like create a character and sort of do like an adventure type of a thing mixing up machinima parts and actual playthrough parts so that it can work and then post it like once a week or twice a month or something like that but the entire thing right now is really in development and I mean, if I just posted videos like just straight out RPing like 30 minutes or something like that, I think it would be really boring and cringe worthy. As honestly, most of roleplay is just typing in World of Warcraft, and plus I can't really voice act to make the videos really interesting, like talk like an orc or something like that. It would just kind of be ridiculous and really awkward. So I'm kind of thinking of a format that could make it work. But on the other hand, if you meant just like a quick demonstration showing you different roleplay techniques and how to do some stuff just as a demonstration, I guess. I am thinking about doing something like that after I finish the race guides, although I'm not really certain on what I will do, but I am planning on finishing all of the race RP guides in like a month, probably by the end of October, since I think I have four races right now, and the Night Elf RP guide should be coming up in a few days. So that's the current plan, and once I finish, I don't want to like stop the RP content, I do want to continue on the RP content, so, I'm thinking about doing the Death Knight thing, also showing you a few different tips here and there about roleplay, demonstrations and all that. Although I kinda have to get into roleplay myself back again, because I haven't really been active since I started the entire YouTube thing, as it takes a lot of my free time, so I haven't really been doing it, like RPing with my guild. Although I'm gonna get into it uh, kinda soon, so I can kinda pick everything up and make some videos, I guess, related to that. Alright, that is all I have for this Q&A, thanks so much for watching, and do give me some feedback on the first thing I asked in the video about the lore stuff that you would like to see, as I, I mean, I still like lore, I still like, want to do lore videos, although I don't know which types of lore videos I want to do, as I don't really want to just cover a single character in the same boring format that I've been doing for like 2-3 years by now, as honest, I think I want to do like something more high quality and something new and all of that. Also, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe as it really helps out the channel and keeps the videos going. Also, check out my Twitch.tv stream as I stream there a few times a week for a few hours. And you can also ask me all sorts of like RP or lore questions and all of that. Anyways, thanks so much for taking your time to watch this video and see you next time.